the barbell split squat. Now, this is a movement that I see a lot of people do incorrectly, right? Or at least in a method that's not going to be as applicable to carry over into some other sort of uh, movement. A lot of the times when we do this, you'll see people we set up very um, kind of like lazy position here. Um, and we think of it almost like a one-legged squat where we want to come down just to get that one leg, knee kisses the ground, and then come back up. Now, uh, so when we do that, is great for building uh, leg strength, but it's not so good in terms of developing carryover strength. So what we wanna do when we do the barbell slip squat, we're going to have a barbell on the rack. Right now we're gonna hold the bar in a high bar back squat position. From here, what I wanna do is I wanna get my back foot, so that way my leg is pretty much straight, okay? There's gonna be a slight bend in my knee, but at the same time I'm pushing my body forward, on my front leg, I am gonna start locked out, right? Exactly as if I was to squat. Now, what this is gonna do is create a neutral pelvis. So I want my hips to be pointed forward. I don't wanna be relaxed where I can then start twisting around, right? Now from here, what we're gonna do is think about grabbing the big toe from the front leg into the ground, heel into the ground, think about pulling it back. Now, you'll notice that that engages everything from here. I'm gonna come down. And then straight back up. Now in terms of depth, we don't need to let the knee touch the ground as long as you're getting the right depth with that front leg. When we do this, we don't want, to, we don't want this knee to come super in front of the toe, basically in line with the toe or behind, all right? Just straight up.